Will Bitcoin break out of the wedge pattern? If you're interested in knowing more about this, please keep watching. Let's take a look at the daily wedge formation. This significant wedge formation can be found on a daily chart. Also, we can observe touch points along the upper and lower boundaries. If it breaks out of the descending wedge, it usually indicates a bullish pattern. However, bullishness implies that this pattern is a continuation of the upward trend. Now, let's consider whether this correction pattern is appropriate as a continuation of the previous upward movement. This is the main question we want to address in this video. Let's take a look. Let's compare the current correction pattern to the following. First, the magnitude of the previous upward movement from the bottom to the top. It seems reasonably good as the upward magnitude matches this correction period without exaggeration. However, there is one more thing we need to consider whether there's a mismatch between the accumulation zone below and the preparation zone in the middle. A mismatch or not refers to the accumulation of volume and time, although the oscillation in the bottom box lasted only 62 days. To be honest, this is a very short period. Compared to previous bottom boxes, we typically saw durations of over 100 days. If you review the market, you'll notice that it even lasted up to a year in the last bear market. So, 62 days can be considered very short. Furthermore, despite the short time, the market has accumulated a volume of 1.6 million. This indicates that even though the time was short, the volume was substantial. Let's make a comparison. In the upper part, where we have accumulated a significant 93 day duration, it's 93 days. On the other hand, we have only had 60 days in the bottom box. Additionally, we have already accumulated a volume of 1.2 million in this area. Therefore, with the current white correction pattern, it has the ability to reverse the uptrend market. Since the bottom of the accumulation box, with a little more time and volume, the accumulation box is not thick enough, after all. If it were thicker, the subsequent upward movement could go much higher and further. Even if we encounter a large-scale correction in such a box pattern, we shouldn't be too concerned. Okay. So, let's see. When we look at the current correction, it seems a bit mismatched with the accumulation box below. It just needs a little more time, and it will definitely have the ability to reverse. Now, let's take a look. Let's compare it to a previous case. Let's plot and take a closer look at the detailed formation of this correction pattern in the middle. For this pattern, we need to focus on the volume accumulation during the oscillation. Here, we can see that it lasted a total of 53 days, with a volume of 610k, denominated in Bitcoin. Of course, the bottom part was quite solid, much thicker than the current bottom. In the lower box, it took around 80 days and approximately 1.6 million in volume. When we compare this to the 671k volume, it's merely a small portion. So, this oscillation was completely supported by the bottom, which made it reasonable for the subsequent upward movement. The correction in the middle, in terms of time and volume, was not sufficient to threaten the entire upward trend. Hence, it broke through. Now, looking at the current market, it does have the potential to pose a threat. The oscillation in terms of time and volume has been quite extended. Now let's consider another example. The one from 2019. From the example, you can observe that during that upward movement, it was very healthy. What do we mean by healthy? Well, it's relative. In this segment of the upward movement, you can see that the volume was gradually increasing step by step. But now, in the current situation, the performance of volume during the upward movement has been gradually shrinking. It keeps shrinking from one level to another, starting from this level then descending to a lower level. And only this remains in the final upward movement. It keeps decreasing. This is not a very healthy situation, especially when the price continues to rise. Even if it eventually breaks through to the upside, we will definitely see a surge in trading volume. Without substantial volume accompanying this upward movement, I believe it won't be able to sustain a significant distance if we don't have a clear volume increase. As we had before, 
this bullish trend won't be able to materialize. On the other hand, looking at this segment, it's turned bearish on a daily level. But why isn't there a smooth drop? It's because of the volume. The bears aren't dominant enough. Now let's look at another example. The one from 2019. In that example, you can observe that the price correction here. Saw it? Do we need to worry about a possible reversal of this entire bullish rally? Absolutely not. Because we have a solid base below. The time spent in accumulation in the lower region are long enough. It has been 130 days. Currently, we only have 60 days. Back then, it took 130 days and accumulated 1.476 million in volume. So, the base below is very solid. And definitely capable of withstanding this kind of consolidation. It can't threaten the original upward trend. This consolidation here cannot pose a threat. As for when, we might encounter a threat capable of reversing or at least pausing this rally. The final pattern of oscillation is seen in the upper region in the box above. You can see that this upper box, in terms of oscillation time and volume, is significantly larger than the previous two. It can even challenge the base below. Look at the 94 days and 1.7 million in volume at this level. Now, if we compare it to the current market situation, we are currently forming a similar pattern. A top pattern. Of course, we are still very concerned about whether this trend line will be breached. If it is, we can definitely do a live stream. However, in my opinion, the market has already turned bearish, and the longer the oscillation persists, the more unfavorable it becomes for the bearish side. Personally, I haven't taken long positions during this upward movement, even if it later broke through and reached a resistance level of 27,500. I personally would not go long. From the current perspective, 27,500 is a double level, combining a trend line and a horizontal level. So, this is an intersection that I would closely monitor. All right, let's move on. Today's an important day. It is a noteworthy day. Why? Because today, Bitcoin dominance has reached a new high in the past 777 days. From here, it's approximately 777 days. Plotting the line here, you can see that it's around 770 days. Many weeks have passed. Finally, today, we have reached a new high point. So, is this breakout a genuine one? I am inclined to believe that it is indeed a true breakout. Why? During this period, Bitcoin dominance has been following its natural cycle. What's a natural cycle? If we overlay the Bitcoin chart with Bitcoin dominance and compare them, we can clearly see the implications. What do I mean? Let's start by looking at the weekly chart of Bitcoin. Now, let's open the Bitcoin dominance chart. Of course, there are different colors used for a specific purpose, but we don't need to delve into that. We simply observe their changes. We can notice that during the past period, especially in a bull market, when we experience a significant uptrend, the Bitcoin dominance chart has been declining rapidly. This is because everyone has been speculating on altcoins. Therefore, now may not be the best time to speculate on altcoins. Well, many people are discussing some popular altcoins. Some altcoins have shown significant gains, indeed. I personally have not participated in those. Even in this current upward trend, I haven't bought any altcoins, excluding Ethereum. If it's not considered an altcoin, you can see that the current movement aligns well with the market cycle. For example, in 2019, when Bitcoin was rising, the Bitcoin dominance was also increasing. During subsequent corrections, we experienced minor oscillations, subtle oscillations. When Bitcoin starts its upward movement, Bitcoin dominance begins to rise again. So, from now, until the start of the bull market, which may occur after the halving event, possibly after April 2024, next year, during this period, Bitcoin dominance is expected to exhibit this trend. Therefore, it's not suitable to invest in altcoins at the moment. It's still best to focus on Bitcoin, which is quite understandable. 
we are currently in a situation with higher uncertainty. In a bull market, altcoins undoubtedly have higher price increases compared to Bitcoin. However, the risk associated with Bitcoin is lower than that of altcoins. All right, thank you. You're welcome. To like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the little bell button to show me your greatest support. By the way, if anyone is interested in receiving a free position on Bybit, please click the link below the video. By completing KYC and depositing $100, US you will immediately receive a $1,000 US worth of Bitcoin contract position as a gift. This is an instant gift, which you'll get right after depositing the money, so there is no need to wait. However, if you prefer a cash bonus, you'll still have to wait. So, please click the link to access the promotional page, where you can choose either long or short positions and claim the reward, provided that you fulfill the required conditions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.